Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for coming to Refining Champions, uh, the Refining Champions YouTube channel. You guys can go check out more of what I do at refiningchampions.com, but basically that's just a place where you're going to get uh, guitar lessons, you know, maybe uh, worship song breakdowns. I also have some podcasts uh, that I do. And uh, you guys can also check out the guitars that I build. So if you want to learn more about uh, who I am and what I do, make sure to go to refiningchampions.com. And it's there that you can also connect with me through Facebook and just all the other places that I do stuff. So today, we're going to uh, review a guitar that I built. And I actually have it right here. So check this out. So this is a guitar that I built. And, uh, you know, let's go ahead and let's just jump into it. So I got the body from a website called banggood.com. I had never shopped there before, but I just, you know, I saw a uh, mahogany thin line telly body and I just, oops, oh, almost dropped the land. I just wanted to jump into it and see what we could do, you know, see what we could do with uh, a body that I've, from a random dealer online that I've never heard of. And I've got to tell you, I'm really impressed with how it turned out. So make sure to go, uh, go to banggood.com and just type in thin line telly and I'll drop the link for that below so you guys can check that out I got the neck off of Amazon and it's currently not even uh, you can't even get it anymore but uh, I thought the neck was really great it was actually kind of a matte finish so uh, what I did is I took a buffer and just buffed it out and you can see that it's real nice and shiny and that actually helps it to play better the only problem that I saw with this guitar is that you know like the neck didn't fit in quite properly so I had to sand it you know, um, I had to do a huge fret job on it and level and I had to adjust the neck and uh, just drilling these holes and sanding it and just painting it and just, you know, I, I love and enjoy this process. But if you're trying to build your own guitar, I would probably start with a website like BYOGuitar.com, um, GuitarFetish.com, BargainMusician.com. Go to these websites and they have kits that they've really sweat the details on and it's gonna be a lot easier for you. Today, we're gonna to be jumping in to this guitar, checking it out, and uh, the next thing we have to point out is that uh, this is primarily gonna be a review of the pickups. So, you know, it is a review of the guitars that I build, but it's also a review of this pickup company called Bootstrap Pickups, uh, you know, and I previously did a Bootstrap Pickup uh, review on another Telecaster and that was with the pretzel pups but this video is going to be on the Palo Duro pickups that they have and a couple of years ago the owner of the company actually uh, I reached out to him and I was like look I want to review your pickups there's not a lot of videos out I'm gonna have some more review videos coming out with some of their Stratocaster pickups and some strats that I've built so uh, let's check out what their website says about their pickups okay so they I love their website they put kind of like a uh, history of you know what they do what they're all about so be sure that you guys go to bootstrappickups.com let's see on the Palo Duro for Telly uh, I love these cables as you'll notice uh, these cables right here are awesome um, it just makes life a whole lot easier whenever you are trying to, you know, wire pickups and stuff and uh, trying to solder them and do everything. Now I do want to point out, I'm not sure if it's in the picture, but they actually have not only two of these um, wires, they actually now have three. So uh, if you're trying to wire, you know, one of these, uh, basically that third wire is just the black and white you do just like normal. But then I think it's a yellow one um, that is going to be in the center. I can't remember the color of it. Uh, but that wire, you're going to ground it. Just like, uh, The last thing I do want to point out. Wait, let's look at this picture. So I do think this is cool. With each one of their pickups, they give you kind of a bass, mids, treble, and then an output thing there. So I like the Palo Duro. I was looking for just a standardized just kind of a flat EQ just something that that would just be kind of well-rounded I could use for a bunch of different styles I play in cover bands I play at church and we play a bunch of different styles so I think these pickups are it they're it man they are great so I do want to point out that you know they're working out of a two-car garage so they're filling orders as fast as they can but it takes about four weeks for you, you guys to get these which isn't too bad compared to how long it's taken for them in the past so you know they are as you'll see on their home page 
Um, that's what they work in. Handmade with love in a two car garage. So without further ado, let's jump into the review. So today, um, this is going to be the last time I talk until the end, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I, might talk, I might say bye. I think it'd be good for me to say bye to you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll say bye. I'll say bye at the end. So um, I'm going to review with some songs that are probably copyrighted, okay? And um, YouTube may take this video down. But uh, let's test the waters a little bit because I'm not playing to any backing tracks or anything. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I do not own the rights to any of these songs. But I felt like it was best to review this guitar with the songs that you guys are going to be playing on it. You know, so uh, they might not all be traditional telly songs, but you know, um, I'm not limited to just playing telly type songs on a telly, especially a thin line. I think we should. We should get outside the box a little bit, and today um, we're going to be playing a bunch of different styles, uh, anything from clean to rock to heavy. You know, we really want to we want to test this guitar to the max, and that's what we're doing today. So, uh, special shout out to Jonathan Cordy. Today I'm playing on a Podgo, and 90% um, of the sounds you're going to hear from the YouTuber Jonathan Cordy. So I'll drop a link down to him below and be sure to go check him out and support his YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's review of the Bootstrap Pickups.
you made it. You're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, so be sure to go check out refiningchampions.com. And you guys have a good day. You know, um, stay classy, drink coffee, and you know, uh, check out other videos that I have and stuff like that if you want. Um, but I hope to see you guys again, and have a great blessed day.